These are instructions for the Strutmaster's rear strut conversion installation for the Mercedes S55. Year models 1999 through 2006. Always exercise extreme caution when working in close proximity to your back glass. First locate the rear strut access panel. Remove the access panel using a flathead screwdriver. Use a razor blade to remove any sound barrier material that may obstruct access to the strut and lift up and remove the rear strut controller. Now remove the nuts from the upper rear strut using a 13 millimeter socket. An open end wrench is required to gain access to the outer nut. Remember that safety is always an issue. Always have the vehicle safely secured on jacks before removing the rear wheel. A jack should be placed under the control arm to remove the pressure from the 21 millimeter bolt that attaches the back strut. A 21 millimeter socket and wrench is required for removal of the back strut bolt. Use a 13 millimeter wrench to remove the ride height sensor arm from the rear control arm. Removing the arm needs to be done to avoid breaking the ride height sensor. A 12 mm Torx bit and an 18 mm wrench is required for removal of the rear control arm. Use a 21 mm wrench and a 9 16 wrench to remove the hub bolt from the rear control arm. Don't forget to loosen the inner control arm bolt using an 18 millimeter wrench. Now lower the jack that's under the control arm and pull out on the outer hub assembly to remove the arm. Lower your control arm and work the strut downward. Before removing the factory strut from the vehicle, the hydraulic line will need to be disconnected. After you have removed the factory strut, remove the upper mount retaining ring and the housing from the old strut. This needs to be done to gain access for the removal of the factory hydraulic line. Use your 18 millimeter wrench to remove the hydraulic line from the old strut. After you have removed the hydraulic line from the old strut, apply the supplied brass cap to the old line and tighten it securely. Now ensure that the cap will not spin. This needs to be done to avoid any leaks. Now reinstall the seal line back into the soft rubber line 
by pulling down on the quick disconnect, making certain that it's properly installed in the old line. The old hydraulic line can now be placed behind the wheel well to ensure that it is out of the way of the new strut that is being installed. The voided line will now stay here permanently. Now remove the Strutmaster's conversion kit from its container. Be certain that the three nuts and washers plus the rubber isolator are present on the top of the strut. Remove the nuts and washers before attempting to install the new strut. Two people will be required to install the rear strut. To ensure that the strut is properly aligned, measure the distance between the top studs before proceeding. The studs measuring three and a half inches apart will position toward the rear of the vehicle. The other studs measure three inches apart. Feed the strut behind the brake line and up into the tunnel. Your partner can help you guide the studs into their proper alignment from inside the vehicle. Once the strut is pushed into place, attach and tighten the three nuts and washers at the top of the strut and ensure that the lower bolt hole is aligned to a reattach to the rear control arm. Now raise your lower control arm to align it with the strut. Insert the bolt that connects the strut to the lower control arm. Once the strut bolt has been put in place and tightened, raise the lower control arm to reconnect the arm to the wheel hub and the suspension system. Now reconnect the lower locator arm. Ensure that all the bolts have been tightened. Now reconnect the height sensor arm. Upon completion of the Strutmaster strut conversion, always ensure 
that the reservoir for the power steering hydraulic fluid is topped off or at its proper level. Failure to do this procedure may damage the power steering hydraulic pump and seriously affect the steering. Pull out the plunger and check your fluid level to ensure that the fluid is at its proper level. If your fluid level is low, be sure to always add the proper fluid for this make of vehicle. Check your local Mercedes dealer or auto parts store that carries genuine Mercedes parts. No other fluid should be used except Pentosin CHF11S. Check your owner's manual or call your Mercedes dealer for further information.